Hello everyone, Tony, let me introduce you to our new friends. This is Comrade Six-Eyed Sand Spider, and this is the incomparable Madam Black Widow. Say hello to them. Oh, quiet, quiet. They're here for a reason. The first one is armed with a cool necrotic venom, while the latter has an entirely different neurotoxic one. And today, after you hit the like button under the video, we are going to test how these two types of spider venom affect human blood. And of course, Tony will be our subject. Time to begin! Let's start with the sand spider. Its venom is called necrotic. This is actually a pretty rare type of venom. It is composed of a substance that causes necrosis around the bite site, that is, the death of the cells in your body tissues. Now we see only two dots on the bite site, the characteristic mark of any spider attack. Tony may experience nausea, fever, malaise, destruction of red blood cells, and a significant decrease in the number of platelets in his body. Sometime after the bite, the necrosis, after which this type of venom is named, will appear. It grows while killing more and more skin cells. It can grow up to 25 centimeters in diameter. But don't worry, Tony. For an adult, this type of poison is not fatal. Well, in most cases, very few deaths have been recorded. And they were triggered by the fact that the spider bit an already weakened and unhealthy person who had cardiovascular or liver problems. A healthy body rather quickly copes with the necrotic effect of the venom and the ulcer stops growing. Over time, the other symptoms disappear as well. But the healing of dead tissues can take up to six months, and in the end, only a scar will be left. Well, it's time for a more dangerous and far more interesting venom, the neurotoxic one. Madam Black Widow, would you be so kind as to bite our little friend so we can all watch and study the effects of your venom on his body? Thank you kindly. Well, Tony, be brave. The poison is already spreading rapidly through your body. By the way, when a spider bites you in the arm or leg, it is advisable to apply a tourniquet just above it to prevent the poison from spreading with the flow of blood. But we won't do that, of course. So, the poison is called neurotoxic because it primarily affects the human nervous system. The pain is not very noticeable immediately, but after about 10 minutes, or in some cases an hour, cramps, severe pain, abdominal muscle tension, rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, dizziness, headache, and high blood pressure begin to appear. The venom acts on almost all of our body's life support systems through the nervous system. Some complications include cardiac arrest and kidney failure, which can be lethal. By the way, most spiders' venom is neurotoxic. Among them are such famous creatures as the black widow, the cross spider, the tarantula, the brown recluse, the Mediterranean black widow, and the Brazilian wandering spider. I have listed only the most dangerous spiders to humans. Their bites can harm even healthy adults, not to mention children and immunocompromised people. That's why it's important to know what to do in case of a bite. First of all, Tony, you must rinse the bite site with water, then apply an antiseptic, like hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, or even vodka. Then apply a cold compress. It is very important to drink a lot of water, it will help the body eliminate the venom from the body. Also, as I've already mentioned, you need a tourniquet or a tight bandage. This will prevent the poison from spreading, but it's a temporary measure because you can't leave a tourniquet on for long because your limb needs normal blood circulation. So you should bandage it up and go to the hospital where a doctor will tell you what to do or inject a special serum. Actually, friends, it should be said that spiders are not as dangerous for humans as is commonly believed. Statistics show a very small number of lethal cases, and all because spiders are small in size and the amount of venom they inject into the victim is not enough to kill humans. Therefore, as a rule, people recover, but still, try to steer clear of these creatures and do not disturb them in the future. Snakes are a completely different matter. Among them, there are some who can kill dozens of people with a single drop of their venom. Some snake's bites can be so powerful that even if you're healthy, you won't have time to call for help. By the way, curiously enough, snakes, like spiders, have two kinds of venom, and we did our own experiment on this topic. Tony was also bitten by snakes, and we studied how different venom affects the body 
and what to do to avoid death. Be sure to watch it, it was very interesting. The link is right here on the screen and in the description below the video. Well, now tell us in the comments, are there any venomous spiders where you live? And have you ever met one? As usual, like this video if you've learned anything new. See you next week. Bye!